What is going on, guys? Wiser here, bringing the recap of the last war for Invicta. It was against this uh, clan, Buta Kita Wa, or something like that. This Indonesian clan, level 8. Uh, they had quite a few wins. We were hoping for a little bit better of a matchup. Unfortunately, it did not go that way. 85 to 62 for Invicta was the score. Uh, nice work, boys. Really kind of ran the board on them. They uh, they struggled on their three star count. Um, no question. 25 to 3 was the three star count. So nice job for Invicta there. Clean the board on the nine twos and all the tens very very sexy to see good job gentlemen all the way down uh i got some really nice replays in here to show you this few really nice valk attacks um nice double zap quake attack to show you here so let's just jump right into this top town hall nine number six are is your top town hall nine first of all too so we have a town hall 11 moose maxed out town hall 11 um but we only had the three the i guess two other town hall tens compared to their five so they did have an advantage there um so that was nice to see they only got a one on moose uh sorry zero is our top town hall nine sword and zero basically the exact same um but let's check out sword here he uh rips it up on their top town hall nine so a uh, little sip here, eight Valks, shattered entry coming in. It goes in from this 11 o'clock position. Just kind of creates this funnel. A couple wizards down on either side. Looking pretty good. It doesn't have to create a crazy, crazy big funnel. Like, people over-exaggerate the craziness, quote-unquote, of Valks. Um, leave them that breadcrumb. They'll go there every time. I'm telling you. Um, and that's, that's kind of what he does here. These storages here, I mean maybe that pump would worry me a little bit um, but with those two storages in there he knows those are his breadcrumbs poisons are down over that cc looking good keeps a poison in the bag i really now with this double like you can double poison that and it almost kills the dragon on its own in fact sorry a max and a level three kills a dragon on its own a max and a level two almost kills a max dragon not quite uh anyhow valks are in ripping everything defensive queen is down those level 30 heroes uh, in there just doing some serious damage. Town Hall is now down, down. Sends in a few hogs, really. Just kind of all these outer defenses. Things are looking fantastic at this point. Only a handful of defenses. Like, look, if you one, two, three compartments, two and a half compartments, even if you want to say, of defenses left remaining. And it is cleanup. Sword just killing it down. Victa, buddy, nice job. Very, very nice attack. It was all levels. This is a completely max Town Hall 9. Just shredded it. Absolutely shredded it. I should have made note, actually. I'm trying to make note of attacks that would not have been 3 stars if it weren't for the new 30 second advantage thing. Um, I think it's just too much. With the new spell and everything, I know the kind of the direction they're going in, but... I don't know. Baby steps. That's my opinion. Obviously, it's too late. It's not going to change a thing. But, oh well. RIP base building at Town Hall 9. <laughs> That's all I'll say. Let's check out John's attack. Big Bat John coming in here with, yes, 15 Valkyries. And a bit of a shattered entry. So really this base only has four, six compartments. Um, so as long as you take care of the CC troops and then you're just so free to do anything you want to this base um everything's open you have access to everything via one jump i don't know there's not even that many buildings on the outside to screw up a funnel you can literally drop everything you know it's going to go into this ring that's going to get you everything except the expos and probably in tesla's in the core um if you're looking at this base as a scout uh but you'll see kind of what pans out here john just drops the golems Everything's going to go in here. King goes in. Valks go in. And they're just going to shred apart this base. 15 Valkyries entering the base <laughs> with free reign. They're going to suck right into that queen. Boom. Queen's dead instantly. And they're just going to feed around the ring here. I just thought it was absolutely fantastic read on the base. A few hogs down on the, at the only few compartments the guy has, right? So you only need to bring a handful of hogs, right? Like to take out the arch tower, take out the arch tower, just while everything's wrapping around the base. Does kind of get um, a couple Valks stuck on the wall there. They do that. That is to me what ha what is the strangeness of Valks is. Sometimes there's a building right beside them, and there's a building on the other side of a wall, and they'll opt to attack the wall to get to that building, even though there's two or like maybe I, I don't know what the the actual space count is, but around three or four spaces I've seen it happen. Um, but it doesn't matter. He's got so many. Heel goes down over this core. 
boom, bust down these Teslas. Core, see you later. There is literally maybe four point defense remaining, a wizard tower and a mortar. This base does not stand a chance. If we can get a Valk count here somehow, let's just zoom in. How many Valkyries are remaining? They're all stacked up there. It's really hard to read. Two, four, six. I want to say 10 Valkyries at least are left. He even saved those two hogs in the back to kind of jump in when those golems. Wizard goes down. What I really found cool about this attack, and it really shows that it was a Valkyrie attack, is the very last defense remaining is the cannon. That does not happen very often. Nice attack, BBJ. Three stars. So, what else do I have down here? Uh, a little bit down. Let's check out 15. Xandir. Uh, where Xandir's from? I'm actually not 100% where Xandir's from. I want to say F Finland. I think I'm guessing. I'm definitely guessing. Sorry, Xan, if I'm wrong. That was my guess. Or Sweden, even, maybe. Um, but he's going to have to be going to send, uh, serve in the military uh, fairly soon. So that's very remarkable. Um, I guess it's, uh, you know, a lot of European countries, that's, uh, that's a requirement for you as a citizen. So uh, good luck to Zan. Um, you know, buddy, it's been a pleasure warring with you. And good luck with everything. Uh, stay safe and come back to us at One Hive because we love you here, buddy. Let's check out this sexy attack he brought here. I don't know if you know the amount of hogs. <laughs> he just goes in a crazy, just cold-blooded and brings, I think it was 36 hogs. Um, really, you look around this base, this is the only kind of danger zone. And the way the hogs are all going to path, it's just going to go up and around and trigger anything one at a time. Heels go down for that one bomb. No big deal. He's got one more heel to go right over top that expo and this other bomb. Because they're all going to jump on that uh, air defense right there. They're all going to jump right here. Oh, I'm surprised they didn't. I so thought they were going to trigger that bomb. But there's just hogs everywhere. Oh, that's right. They go. They keep going down. Those bombs never even get triggered. Just beautiful attacks, man. Great, great read on the pathing for your hogs there. Archer Tower, last defense remaining. Sexy. Nice three-star, my brother. And good luck with everything. Um, I think I got one more here. One or two. Two more. Two more. One plus the bonus. Days. Bring some more sexy redheads to this attack. Uh, symmetrical base, uh, but it, it, you know, still a pretty solid base. Um, in the sense of defenses, uh, really, you know, besides the air defense and expos, I think, oh, cannons as well. Um, but regardless, Days just rips this up. If you notice, uh, again, cold blooded with five Valks. I really like that choice because the, the base is so compact. If you can get Valks up in this section, they're going to get really huge value. Like this whole section from the town hall is just going to get ripped by those Valks, leaving the Hogs to come in and just do a little loop up and around the base. And he's got uh, three heels in the bag for that. So Poison is down. Look at that. The double Poison completely kills that Max Drag. Just overpowered. Supercell. What the hell were you thinking? Especially, uh, oh, you know, because usually if you have to wait for that poison, that might hurt you on time. Oh, but we got an extra 30 seconds. Sorry, forgot. No worries there. Let's just go ahead and send in those Valks. Leaves that breadcrumb. I love it. Uh, just bounce right off. They're going to go right over this jump, right in this core. Look at the value these Valks are going to get. Opens a big piece of this base with the one jump. Bam, bam, bam defenses or all buildings that's the other nice part about valks they clean up and kill defenses at the same time fortunately it'll target defenses but um that's what i was saying in bbj's last attack the last building to go down at 99 percent was a cannon that doesn't happen very often in town hall nine attacks i'll tell you that much so uh heels going down he's got hogs in all on this one side of the base things are looking good queen ability is still available just working on that crossbow Expo, sorry, I know I'm trying to fix that. I'm slowly getting better. Heel goes down for these hogs. He sends in his last few to kind of push that mortar back, keep everything moving to that Tesla and cannon. These this little section is the only part of threat, but if you count those hogs, it is way too many for those defenses remaining. Sexy job days. Nice three star buddy. Bringing it home. Queen's going to do some work, a little bit of cleanup there, but all those hogs, you can see he's probably got like 10 hogs at least doing cleanup. 
doesn't even matter. Three stars in the bag. Nice job. All right, last attack. This one comes from uh, my Dutch friend. Kiatic really exposes the uh, the new extra spell system here, which I, again, Supercell, like, what were you thinking? You just weren't thinking. You weren't. And honestly, let me just say this. As the war community, at least how I feel, if we had just given us the ability to arrange matches easily with the clans that we choose to, all of this other stuff wouldn't matter. You can do whatever you want, pretty much. We would adapt. Just let us do that. Please. That's it. <laughs> All right. End of story. Kiatic, my buddy from Holland, brings a sexy, sexy attack here. Let's check this out. <clears throat> so notice the spell comp. Four lightnings, two quakes. See you later, air defense. And see you later, air defense. <laughs> Oh man, Supercell. <laughs> what were you thinking? Let's just send in a hog, we'll get the lure. <laughs> if you didn't bring the double zap, you could have just double poison and then the CC troops wouldn't have meant a thing. Awesome, awesome thinking, Supercell. And this base, unfortunately, is this base is the exact same base as the one BBJ hit, actually. And it's uh, Kadic brings a completely different style of attack on it here. The double zap quake, I love it. Everything kind of goes in now. Uh, gonna send a couple wall breakers here, just open things up. There it goes, everything's kind of open. Uh, notice Kadic doesn't have his king here either. This is another great point about this attack and how overpowered this new spell system is but it is what it is i guess we got to embrace it so kata goes ahead and sends in this air portion of his attack um couple lava hounds in on this uh remaining air defense because really the queen did the, all the work over here and took out that third air defense and the defensive queen so two, two lava hounds is more than enough to take care of that to balloons on all parts of these ba uh the base really like you look at the town the level of defense is here and they're nothing special but it wouldn't matter if this is a if this was a lava wall max base i can almost guarantee you it would have went the exact same way so don't take anything away from that cat just monstered this base with the double zap quake supercell what were you thinking what were you thinking you were just thinking of gems and money town hall 11 r.i.p town hall 9 base building <laughs> all right i'm over exaggerating please don't take anything uh, too serious in the stream i'm just having a good time because these replays are going to get more and more and more interesting as we get more and more and more into this update so like i said it is what it is and we embrace it i'm not crying about it just having fun with it um it is a very interesting system we're gonna have to see how it plays out i went from gold three to masters one in i don't know a few days without doing anything so i'm not sure what their intentions are but <laughs> it is what it is you guys can go read the forums and, and get all the feedback you want about how the community is overall feeling and feel free to leave your comments in the chat but again i'm not being too too serious about this um i'm a little bitter but all like i said all, all i would all i really wanted was a little more respect and focus on on the war community as opposed to just trophy pushing so um i think they could have done it at the same time something as simple as hopefully you guys can relate with me on this spectator slots what is there like five this is ridiculous i don't understand how we can't just add you know 20 spectator slots so everyone can watch a live attack if you're in the clan i don't know blows my mind blows my mind but it really doesn't when you think about it because just think about it and you'll figure it out anyways it's late i'm obviously having a too good of a time so <laughs> i'm gonna call it that does it for your wisdom from wiser just trying to help you bag that next three star and until then i'm out